Uh, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is, uh, well, today is actually Monday, uh, and if you're wondering what uh, what's happening out here this morning, uh, this morning is a catch-up moment. Uh, we have lots of really neat content to share with you over the next few days. Uh, remember, we advertised earlier that we were going to uh, Worldbex, W-O-C-E-E. -E. Uh, we had some visitors, some uh, special visitors coming in uh, from uh, our subscribers uh, that are coming in from Singapore, who are also vloggers, who have some interesting information to share with us as far as mm -hmm. techniques about doing vlogging. Uh, also, there's a su surprise. There's a surprise episode that's going to be called uh, What's in the Box? And that's an upcoming <laughs> episode as well. Now, we have tons of uh, video that require editing. And with all the stuff that we have to require editing, that takes time. And you're going to find out a little bit about that, what it takes to actually put a vlog together uh, today. Uh, some of the technical issues uh, that uh, might, you might find interesting if you uh, would like to do a video, uh, so something like on YouTube or any type mm -hmm. of video vlogging. Uh, so anyway, I am working. I need to get this stuff edited and uploaded to you as soon as possible so you don't have much longer of a wait. I hope you enjoy today's video and the next few days video as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and get today started. Without further delay, let's get today's video underway. <music> Today we have, as promised, we have our visitors here uh, from Singapore. Uh, today we are entertaining our friends here, uh, and this is Tony, and this is also Karen, and uh, they're also vloggers too. And uh, uh, Karen actually sent me several uh, se several emails, and uh, where she's excited about talking about vlogging, and I'm excited about that because I love technology. <laughs> but not only are we vlogging them. They're vlogging us, so what we're going to do, we're going to switch the hat around. We're going to pass the hat over uh, to Karen and to Tony, and we're going to let them introduce uh, their video for today as well. Hi, everyone. I'm Karen, and this is Tony. Tony, hi. Yeah. And um, we're actually excited to be, uh, to be here in your house, and uh, really, and also being honored to be here, and also to interview, uh, you know, our... You know the every, every, the the person we always watch every day, <laughs> <laughs> from start to from you know from the construction stage until where they actually already build the house and no other than uh, Mr. James Tanner and Ness Tanner. Yes, so we have been following their channel, which is my PI dream, from the very start when James started building his house here in the Philippines because uh, it's a journey that we both um, kind of go through like at one stage in our life and also we are planning to do the same uh, right. in the future like you know we spend we are going to spend at least half of our time here in the Philippines mm -hmm. so it's so, something that we, we really look forward to yeah. right so let me say this magandang umaga uh, <laughs> oh yeah it's yes, now it's, uh, half, it's uh, <laughs> afternoon so it's magandang hapon <laughs> Well, I, t I tell you what, since your camera is over on this right here, let us start. You kind of gave us a little bit of background uh, about yours. And we want to get some more background from you here. Uh, but to try to stay in line mm -hmm. in the sequence of what's going on, mm. we'll talk to your, uh, your subscribers <laughs> here as well. Uh, uh, so anyway, first of all, uh, while we're on, these cameras are really confusing. We have a lot of cameras <laughs> yes. uh, To begin with, go ahead and introduce your, your uh, vlog channel on YouTube. Uh, so that uh, you get some exposure as well, so that our viewers can actually jump over to your site as well if they're interested in seeing some of your content. Yeah. Sure. Um, our channel, Awesome Summer, is about travel and vlogging. Um, we want to bring you fun and informative travel experience, travel tips, guides to you, and also there's some fun and entertainment along the way. Mostly in this season, we are featuring Philippines and Singapore. Yes, uh, just like what she said, uh, uh, we really, you know, want to um, help all the uh, subscribers to actually be able to, you know, basically our motto is to give them the, you know, the tips, 
you know, how to like, you know, or, you know, book your flight, you know, and what to see in that particular place. And uh, we are really excited to be here in the Philippines. Uh, first of all, because this is my home country, and I really want to, you know, the Singaporean, the, you know, um, a subscriber and other subscribers around the world to actually, you know, uh, see the beauty of the Philippines and, uh, and uh, just like what, uh, you know, the My PI Dreams is doing here. They're actually like, uh, uh, you know, um, bringing the Philippines to the world. And uh, as, as you can see that there are so many like subscriber in, the, in their channel. And, uh, and I'm really proud of this guy who actually like, um, you know, build, you know, the, you know, not only the house here in the Philippines, but also the community. Mm. And um, he's actually active in, uh, you know, in Rotary and, and in the community as a whole. So really, I'm very proud of, and uh, I'm thank um, thank you for choosing the Philippines as your second home, and uh, you know really I'm very proud that you are actually bringing the Philippines to the world. All right, uh, one of the th you, you talked about uh, just a few minutes ago before we started filming here, you, you were talking about uh, travel, and you were talking about your upcoming trip to Palawan. And, uh, and, and something we want to do, because we focused mainly for the last, since the beginning of the build, uh, and we're still focused on it because we're finishing up the build here with minor things that, that weren't completed at the end. Uh, but we want to start focusing on travel, very similar to the, what you guys are doing. Um, and the, the question I asked you was about who did you book through? And you said you book all the stuff yourself, uh, which is really good. Uh, first of all, it's a saving. Uh, and uh, I, can you share what is your process as far as when you to go to Poland? So for right now, what was your process to decide on uh, your transportation when you're doing your transportation? What hotels are you planning on staying? And uh, maybe you can even talk about are you already set up for any specific. Uh, tour uh, in the area, maybe mm -hmm. uh, snorkeling or uh, island hopping or anything like that. Can you talk about that a little bit? Mm, sure. Yeah, um, I'm the one who actually do the arrangements for all the bookings. So for accommodation, I will do some research. So filtering by our budget and the location we want to stay. Usually, if we want to stay by the beach side, I will go by that location and our budget, and I will start to read the reviews online. Mm -hmm. Um, usually I go by a certain portal, um, normally it's Agoda, and uh, from there I will decide which accommodation. Then I will just discuss with Tony and right. when he agrees we will go ahead to book. With the flights, we will check on this particular website called Skyscanner. Mm. From there, we will find all the flights um, based on timing. You can even check like the, for the whole month which are the days that have the cheapest flights to fly out. Right. So from there, we will decide which days to fly and the time. We can fly different airlines coming back, going there, and also connecting from El Nido to Coron. Um, we have in, plan, in the plan to do this island hopping in El Nido, which is Tour A, because Tour A has a lot of good reviews. Mm. It's like a must-do. If you have no yeah, time, just do Tour A. But we are not only going to do Tour A, we are planning to do either Tour C or D as well as Tour A. Mm. In Koron, we are planning to do a island hopping also. Um, and also this Pass Island and Black Island. I think they are called Pass Island and Black mm -hmm. Island. Uh, so right. that with sunset and also trekking and hot spring in Koron. So there's quite a lot of things to do as well as check out the food in Koron. So food is always a must do in Koron. Yeah. <laughs> I think I only also want to ask, uh, add something, is that, you know, like actually traveling is not, not necessarily need to be very expensive. Mm -hmm. Like if you, in nowadays, because of internet, you can actually use a lot of apps or, you know, a website. Mm -hmm. And like, for example, why, what she mentioned is the sky scanner. scanner. Mm -hmm. They say you can actually, as long as you're not very picky with, uh, you know, the flight schedule, you can actually get a very, very cheap, uh, you know, uh, you know, um, ticket, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. airfare, you know, to you know to get to your destination anywhere in the world. Tony, I got to ask you, uh, how much does Karen charge you as a travel agent to do your? Well, you know, <laughs> well, you know, well, I I do the post editing for you know uh, for the all the YouTube videos, so 
I so guess that you know pays for for it. So it's quid pro quo. Yeah. <laughs> we want we want to talk and we want to discuss about um, about vlogging. Uh, do some comparison comparison notes mm -hmm. between yours. Now, you guys have been right now. I think you said three months, three yeah, months, three months on, yes. on your vlogging. So you're relatively new. Yes. And 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 and, and I made a comment to uh, to Karen earlier because uh, she first of all she told me she was a vlogger, and then she. She sent information about that you were coming to visit. You wanted to come visit us here at Villa Feliz. Uh, but, and I think I received several uh, exciting emails about your visit to the Philippines. Uh, but never did you tell me at the very beginning what the name of your vlog site was. And, and finally, I had to ask her. I had to prod it. And I said, uh, what is your vlog site? So she sent me the link. And uh, I, for a young mm -hmm. vlog site, I was pleasantly surprised and and uh, and I was surprised uh, ex about the professionalism of your blog site about your uh, uh, the way you display uh, your scenes the way you do your editing that's why one of the things that I wanted to talk about today uh, was uh, do a comparison about the way uh, the two of you because I think you said you do the editing you work with her with the editing yes. so I want to discuss that maybe we can share some of that because I, I know we get questions, uh, uh, not often, because mainly the questions are about how do you build here. That that is what our channel is all about. But we get questions about what kind of equipment are you using. They want to know about the microphones. They want to know about the cameras. Your editing s software. How much time? One of the questions you asked was how much time do you spend editing? And I would like I would like I would like to go along with that question that you were asking us. But we'll discuss that as well. Uh, but let's 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 start off on uh, what what question because you had several things that you wanted to bring up. What is it you want to discuss when it comes to editing? Okay, uh, well we had to stop. Actually, we just had to stop for just a second uh, because uh, one of the things about doing things is preparation. It's preparation for right. you make sure that you're prep you're prepared as far as having plenty of batteries. Uh, back in the day, it was make sure you had enough film, you had plenty of film, and now in the digital age, it's mainly batteries and, and disk space on your, on, on your, on your memory card. Uh, but we, we just had an incident, might as well talk about that, because you're going to have things, uh, unexpected stuff that's going to happen to you, and we've, we've lost some really good interviews, or we've lost uh, portions of interview because of things like batteries went dead on us in the middle of an interview. Uh, we did, I was just telling you about the one with uh, Gerard. Uh, from from Canada, uh, which was uh, several issues back, uh, several episodes back, and uh, I didn't realize at the end it was there was some really good stuff that was at the very end in the conclusion of our, mm -hmm. our, our episode for that day, and I, I went to editing and uh, there was no more bad it had shut down <laughs> on me, and we just had that problem just now. Your camera yeah. just just sh shut down, mm -hmm. and uh, well, talking about hardware, uh, we have the GoPro. We use the GoPro here. Uh, we, we have a five, six, and a seven. And the seven seems. I believe there's uh, some technical issues with the seven that have been uh, um, demonstrated on a lot of bulletin boards and all. And I think it's because the seven they tried to put some additional capabilities in there, uh, which draws more on the battery. It, it, it causes overheating inside. Uh, so my favorite right now is the six. Uh, my, is the six. Uh, if I had to replace one right now until whatever the next one is, or they identify and fix the problem. Which I doubt, to, doubt they do because I know some companies. Uh, I don't want to get into all this thing about these <laughs> other companies, but I know we had a problem with our DJI drone, and we right. and we contacted we contacted the company, and again on the bulletin boards it was like thousands of people had this problem mm -hmm. uh, with the controller, uh, the battery not being able to charge up inside there, and we found out uh, uh, the fix action was there was a bad solder joint on the motherboard, and that's that's manufacturing process. But the company wouldn't. They never admitted that I know of. Uh, so we ended up having to go out. We we went to them, and if you have a warranty, uh, if you, if it's still in the warranty, they they take care of that. I will give DJI. They're a good company. I will say mm -hmm. they're a good company. They make a really great product. But I think they fell behind, standing behind a known issue uh, when it comes to the controller. So we ended up having to buy another. We bought a used controller uh, mm -hmm. to save some money. Um, but I think uh, GoPro has some issues with the 7, and I think uh, they haven't addressed those and uh, fixed those problems as well. Um, where were we? What were we talking about before I went off on a tangent? <laughs> editing. We were talking yeah, about we editing were. software. Editing, yes. uh, the features. We were talking right. about the features of uh, Final Cut Pro. Um, 
what I, I when I went to your your site, which uh, made me uh, a big light bulb come up, is, is some of your professionalism, and I think it, a lot of it is attributed to both you as being professional, your background, learning, right. uh, but also the Final Cut Pro uh, software itself. Um, can, can you talk a little bit about your techniques? Because I, I noticed some of your panning techniques inside. There's a strategy. Everybody has a strategy. And some people's strategy, as you'll see on YouTube, is no strategy at all. Right. It's just point and shoot and do whatever. Uh, and, and that's fine. Uh, but I, I, what I admire about your, your uh, new uh, channel is you strive, I believe you strive, for professionalism. Uh, can you talk about some of the things that you do? Yes. Speaking about profes uh, professionalism, this is what we actually are, uh, you know, our first objective when we started this channel is that we are not going to, you know, like just anyhow, you know, like take video and just for video's sake, you know, and we told them we need to have a quality because there's so many like, um, you know, doing videos in the world, like doing YouTube videos. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can go different ways, right? Just, just like what you said, right? You can do like the normal point and shoot and then you can still make it in the world. Why not, right? As long as you have like the content is good. But for us, it's like we want a content that is good and we also want our content to be like of value to the people, right? Then the, once you have these, uh, these things, right, in, in, in your, as, a, as a matter of principle, then that's where you actually translate into like doing your, doing the video, right? You make sure that what are the things that the, you know, the, in those users or the, sorry, the subscriber wants to see, right? Normally this is what they want to see. And you know, I always, uh, you know, the first time she did all the videos, like this one is, that's why I said I'm a like, critic. I said, this one is a crap. You know? And then she was like, so angry with me. It's like, you know, what you say? Like, yeah, it's a crap. <laughs> But I had to tell, tell her that, you know, because really, you know, because if I look at it, I'm the one reviewing it, and I say, really, I, um, I don't want to, like, watch this, and, you know, expect me to, like, you know, uh, and uh, expect my 13 minutes or 11 minutes of my time watching this crappy, you know, YouTube videos. I want it to be a quality, right? <laughs> right, so... Yeah. I, I agree, I agree. But let me add, uh, do, do you, either one of you, uh, right. since you're, you're both, because... Uh, on our side, I do. I'm 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 kind of like a uh, uh, one-trick pony. Right. Uh, I, 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 I do the content, and you'll see our our channel is it's impromptu. Everything is impromptu. There's there's no prepared script or anything. Mm -hmm. Yours almost seems yours is to the professional quality. It's almost like you've prepared. You've taken notes oh, before yeah, you yeah, do. We, we actually use uh, you know this um, uh, software that is free. Yeah. You can also use uh, we one note is from Microsoft which you can download from your, your Mac and it's free you can actually uh, like create your script you know your whatever things that you want to it's basically something like a scrapbook and you can put all those like you know all this um, like what I said you can also put the you know the um, when you do a plan for you know going to like Palawan and from there when you, once you have the plan you can also write the script from you know behind it Hapon! <laughs> <laughs> These are the kind of things that you have to allow for. We have some of our neighbors walking that right now. So <laughs> as soon as they walk, <laughs> imagine five dogs barking at the same time, and at night, yeah, we also have this one. So that's why you know when you know, we have we do we need to do a lot of cuttings, yeah, editing just to take it out, or maybe voiceover or something like that. I remember your audio, you know, the, when you were still living in the other house, a rented house, and then in the apartment, right? And then you say, Magandang umaga, and then you show us the, you know, the rooster. Yeah, you know, the, I remember that. So it's like, oh, okay, you know, it's like an American living in the Philippines and you know, having exposed to all this kind of environment. But that's why I'm very proud of you. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I miss it. I, I, I miss it, yeah. Um, after a while, you kind of get used to it. But now we've kind of transitioned from roosters, what they call chickens. They call yeah, chicken, they, they don't call them roosters here. Uh, uh, we, now we've gone from that. We've gone to dog, dog, <laughs> dogs that are barking all the time. So. Yeah. So this is the newer camera, which is the Sony A 
6400 or 6400. Now they can you do uh, you know 4K uh, video. You know, so that's why it make the you know, video um, much clearer and true to life. We talked about 4K a little bit earlier uh, because we, we were talking about well the newer cameras. The uh, well, we use GoPro. Uh, you're using the Sony. Then you had an older camera before that. Uh, for those who are interested in what we use here. Uh, well, we use multiple GoPros here. Yeah. Uh, you'll see from today's editing because we have multiple cameras set up inside here, so we'll swap in between. Uh, and 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 the, for us, the process is because we have two microphones. We'll talk about the microphones. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about the cameras. We'll talk about some of the technology that we're using here. Uh, but you, you end up slicing bits and pieces. And since we have two microphones, well, we might as well go ahead and talk it now about mm -hmm. it now since we're already talking about it. You can see we have one microphone, and, and they're basically like shotgun microphones. Mm. Uh, the, the microphones that we have right here, we have one shotgun going your way, and that eliminates all the noise <coughs> that, that coming around from the side above us. Mm. It direct, it's directional, and it keeps it very clear. I will tell you right now, uh, and I said earlier, in the earlier days of my PA journey when we first started, uh, we were using the internal microphones on the GoPro, and I think the GoPro has three microphones. Mm. And, and the internal microphones, uh, in my opinion, uh, they are substandard, very substandard, and they're very susceptible uh, to noise, wind blowing, and if you put them inside either the GoPro case or if you buy an external case, uh, a lot of times you get a lot of noise bouncing around inside there. Mm -hmm. It covers up the sound and it's really bad. And there's a lot of uh, videos uh, that uh, will Say the same thing if you go if you look about the the GoPro. A lot of people don't like that, mm -hmm. so that's why we upgraded with the microphones that we have here. And you can see we have uh, what's called the dead cat on right. the outside to prevent. To prevent. And you, I see you also. You yeah, we call it cat whisker for cat something. Whisker, cat whisker. Yeah, <laughs> and that just prevents any noise, wind noise that are coming from from making that humming, yeah. that annoying humming noise. That's and they, cute. they really work. It's they, they 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 work really well. Uh, mm -hmm. And you'll. And the, and the people say, especially, and if you compare our earlier videos to our later videos, you will see a big Im improvement in the audio quality inside there. Uh, so uh, the the micro, we got the microphones, we got the camera. Let's go. Let's go back to the editing software. You started with iMovie, which is what we use. And iMovie is a very intuitive. It's very intuitive. It's very easy to use, and it's very powerful to do the basics that you need to be a vlogger. So if, you're, so if you're a new vlogger and you're trying to get into the vlogging and you want to put on something professional, I recommend starting uh, with yeah, iMovie. Yes. If iMovie, if you have a Mac, and then Movie Maker, if you have a Windows machine, yeah, it's great. also very powerful and they're very simple. And uh, it used to be, do, do you have any Windows machines at home or are you all? Um, you we all used out? to have uh, you know, uh, Windows machine, yeah. but we predominantly use a uh, Mac. I, I think, I, if I remember correctly, because I've kind of strayed away from the Windows community. Remember, I, I talked about Ness and I. We're like 180 degrees on everything. Uh, uh, she, she's like, and it, she agrees on one color, I agree on different. She's a Windows, I'm Apple. Oh. You know, we're, we're so different on everything. But if I, if I remember correctly, uh, Windows, when it was like Windows 98 and Windows, whatever the different flavors of Windows were, yeah. they used to come with uh, Movie Maker that yeah, came yeah. With part of the operating system. But I now, I think now, if you get Windows 10, I don't think it comes with it. I think you have to download that separately. But I think it's still free. So mm -hmm. if if you're thinking about doing blogging, those are two good things to start with. Now Final Cut Pro, which is what you have, right. I've used Final Cut Pro. I had Final Cut Pro, and I want to go back to that. It's been a while, and I remember it was very powerful. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor, uh, a short, a brief comparison between what you get more, the, your capabilities with Final Cut Pro as it's opposed right, to movie, right? movie uh, iMovie. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, for uh, definitely because she's an iMovie, I think she can, you know, she can talk about iMovie best, <laughs> right? Yeah. iMovie is very easy to use. So for starters, it's like you only take maybe maximum like three days. Even if you are non-IT savvy, you are not a tacky person, you just take three days to adjust to everything and try to pick up the shortcuts because the shortcuts, especially those that you use frequently for almost all videos, will help you to speed up your editing. Mm. And when you transit from iMovie to Final Cut Pro, I had 
a little bit of a moment like so learning <laughs> yeah. a learning curve this, this, at yes. the very beginning when you switch over because right. yeah. it has so much capability yes, right. Right. because that's it's why so powerful there's so many things in there i was a little bit shocked uh, initially i was <laughs> reluctant to transfer <laughs> so um but later on tony was saying that oh it's really very powerful you, you just have to learn you know learning is never that easy or pleasant so mm -hmm. well, yeah Briefly, what is your your favorite um, features using Final Cut Pro that make you move up to that next step uh, going from iMovie to Final Cut Pro? What are the features that, that you like the best? We noticed that, you know, if you do iMovie when it actually, you know, um, uh, export the movies right, it's not as polished as when you do it in Final Cut Pro. Mm -hmm. That's what we noticed, you know, suddenly the, you know, the output, you know, the video output, is quite different when you do it in um, Final Cut Pro. One of the things in iMovie, they have a, a very simple way of editing things like your exposure and things like that. But mm -hmm. I think Final Cut Pro gives you a bigger uh, or, or a, a more uh, professional Feature. way of doing that. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, if you have an area in Final Cut Pro, say a specific area that you need to highlight, maybe it's overexposed or unexposed, you don't have to uh, affect, it doesn't affect the rest of the frame inside you. You can... You yes. Can, You're right. Yeah. Is it there? Yeah, yeah it's, it's quite true. And I need to do that. Because we, we, we just uploaded, you didn't see it because it got uploaded yeah. probably just before you came over here. We did Ta'al Lake yesterday. We did oh, Operation nice. Ta'al Lake, or Ta'al Volcano. Ta'al Volcano. Ta Volcano. Ta Volcano. Yeah. Uh, OTV is what we called it. Uh, we went with the Rotarians there on a, on a mission out there. And what I noticed when I pushed it using iMovie, a lot of the scenes were darker. They, were, they seemed a little bit overexposed mm -hmm. because I used the auto exposure on the GoPro. Mm -hmm. And then, it, uh, so it's a little bit maybe of the GoPro and it's probably right. a little bit, because uh, I, I don't think there's much you can do with iMovie as far as when you're totally overexposed. <laughs> Uh, yes, going can. into iMovie, but you can probably fix a little bit of that. With uh, yeah, that's the good thing about Final Cut Pro is that you can actually do a color correction mm -hmm. and color grading as well. You know, color correction means if you're overexposed or underexposed, you can actually you know uh, manipulate it there. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. You're yeah. talking about scripting and things like that. Well, we don't, yeah. we don't, we don't, we don't do that. I was saying, I'm kind of a one. You guys, it's nice that you guys can work together. Uh, as as a team, and Ness and I work together as a team. But she's basically she's like she's I'm like the, like my critic. she's like my Vanna White on Wheel of Fortune in the United States. <laughs> she, she she's the pretty face on the screen <laughs> no. all the time, and uh, and and she just makes me she makes me laugh. Uh, but for me, uh, the major part of the production we'll call it a production mm -hmm. is is basically it's focused here and, mm -hmm. uh, uh, on on me. Uh, I I get up in the morning and I decide. Uh, what do I want to do today? What's the project for today? Because ours is kind of a DIY channel. What's the project for today? Uh, how do I want to do the opening this morning? And the opening is the same. And that's something that I believe in. Once you have a theme, you stay with your theme because people become comfortable. And it's like any television show that's syndicated or anything like that. People expect, because if I change something, I will tell you, I get people that will send me emails, or they will send me. They will do comments, or they will they will send things. Why did you change? I'm used to this kind of thing, and they will. They, sometimes they get kind of angry okay. if you change. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes you have to change. You have to change things up every Correct. every now and then. But in the morning, I get up and I decide what we're going to work on for the day, and then I get the camera. I do the opening, uh, and then maybe I'll we'll eat breakfast or something like that. And then we'll go into the project. We'll go into the specific project that we talked about at the very beginning. But sometimes <laughs> things change. You have to be yeah. you have to be very flexible because something like your neighbors walking with all your dogs inside <laughs> there yeah. might interrupt something that, that might happen as well. Things like that. Uh, but that's kind of how unscripted. Ours is totally unscripted. But what I agree with you is that um, instead of a lot of superfluous information that's going across. Uh, you have uh, you have a goal for the day. This is what I want to translate uh, to the people who are watching my channel. I, I want to translate how to do something or educate them. I was educated with something, and I want to share that with them as well. And yeah. I see that you do the same, mm -hmm. and and I admire you guys for uh, starting your channel 
in that type of a, uh, of a thing. Thank you very much. Now, one of the things that you put on your talk sheet, uh, uh, your talking paper uh, that you sent to me, uh, was uh, how much time do you spend editing? And I, I don't think a lot of people understand yeah. there is a lot of time consumed editing. Now, I, 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 I will tell you right now, and it's changed mm -hmm. be, because the theme of our block has changed a little bit because uh, the construction is done. But during construction, uh, you watched a eight to ten hour day of construction here. There's a lot of material inside there. I probably had an average of, I, I think I calculated one time, 160 to 180 clips that I had to do post-edit at the end of the day. And, yet, and that was when we were talking about, I was in the apartment. When I was in the apartment, I would go back home because I got here before the crew started. You'll see in the videos, I got here before they got here and I left after everybody left at the end of the day because I wanted to do inspections on uh, what type of quality did they do. To, is there anything that I need to identify the next day? So I would leave and I would be back and I would probably start editing around 6.30, 7 o'clock in my apartment and I would edit until midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning wow. and then I was up at 5 o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. I was getting like four hours a night of sleep every night when I was doing that. But, mm -hmm. so that's actually, people don't realize it. when you're taking it, that's part of your, you know, and you said you guys actually work on a script. Yeah. So you work on a script, then you, you take the video footage, you produce, then you edit, and then when you get done editing, then you got to push it, you got to push it on there. And, let me, uh, and for me, I, you will see, oh my goodness, and this is, this is kind <laughs> of, un, and this is unprofessional, is I was so tired, you, you are supposed to, you are supposed to review your video before you publish it, before you go publish it. It should be in a draft right. and you should do it. I was so tired on so many of those episodes that I would push my videos. And then I would have people telling me the next day, oh, you, you had two duplicate scenes or you had three duplicate scenes inside there because I didn't do that because I was so tired. I try now as much as possible and this is where Ness gets involved sometimes. If it's a really important, and they're all, they're all important because mm -hmm. you always try to produce the best videos possible. Yeah, right. But where I ask Ness to get involved sometimes, I said, can you do me a favor? Can you review uh, with me? And we sit down together. And uh, I don't know if you guys say it with each other. Yeah, I do. Because we, we uh, but, but, but it has to do with being conservative. We try to run a very conservative site. We try not to do anything controversial, mm -hmm. which is different from a lot of the bloggers that are out there. But we want to provide, what I said earlier, a high quality, a conservative, and that the, that the viewer gets something out of ours. So uh, sometimes I make jokes. I, I will, uh, and, and I'm starting to move over, especially with the Rotary Club the Phil in the Philippines. Yeah. Phil Philippines sometimes make some, and they always make these jokes, which, and you have to look at your entire audience. You don't want to offend anybody in, in your audience. Yeah, that's true. So, so, so you might make a joke or something like that, and it might not be a bad joke or anything like that, but you have to look at every. And I always ask, and sometimes she'll look at me and she'll say, I don't want to put that joke inside there. You might want to edit that one out. So that's where I get her involved. Do you guys ever do stuff like that? Uh, yeah, it's quite similar. But for us, it's um, not the joke. Uh, mostly it's in, uh, like, if we don't look uh, nice in this particular video, then we sh <laughs> not try not to put it inside the video. Oh. But if, uh, if something that this one makes sense, you know, it, because of the flow, then it's okay even if we don't look nice. Mm -hmm. But it makes sense because it makes people laugh, then it's still okay. <laughs> so it depends on the, you know, how we actually see it. But it's basically criticizing ourselves in the mirror, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble then if it comes down to that about criticizing yourself in the room because I go a lot of time, my hair, because it's construction, Right. my hair is like, oh, I'm sweat. I'm working in the garden and I'm outside, you know, it's hot here and it's humid and stuff like that. So you're going to see that on our channel. You're going to, yeah. not her, she's always perfect. She won't, <laughs> no. she, she's always perfect. She won't go on there. And if she sees something and everything, she says, no, you got to cut that out. You can't. Yeah. So, but anyway, I, first of all, I just want to thank you guys. This was this was a really cool afternoon. Uh, thank you so much for coming and visiting. And and the, and uh, your promise was awesome. The, you said two o'clock, and you were here like at two o five or something like that. American time. <laughs> you were not Filipino time. You were. On, you were is that Singapore? We'll call it Singapore time. Yeah, we were yeah like this is seven outside, but uh, we had to wait for the guard. For the guards. Yeah. For the guards. Yeah. Uh, like but uh, one fifty seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Can we go with American time? <laughs>
<laughs> but thank you so much, and it was it was really uh, enlightening to uh, today. Like on a TV set for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we I were can very literally excited. touch the you know the yeah. the <laughs> furniture and the, you know the the whole house. Mm. That I've been watching, you know, in the tour, YouTube. Yeah, yes, it hey, it's a very fun yeah. tour, and thank you very much for opening your house to us, especially your subscriber. And uh, you know, I'm really like um, happy to see you, you know, in person, the two of you. And the same for you two guys. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for the great coordination, the great <laughs> conversation, the great afternoon. It's it's actually it's almost time to eat again, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe, maybe we can get some food here. <laughs> but uh, 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 we we look forward to a uh, longer and enduring uh, vlogging and and friendship relationship yes, with you guys yes, in the future. Yes, definitely. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for coming thank today. <laughs> Well, as you can see, I am trying to get the cistern filled up so that we can do the flood test uh, to ensure that we don't have any leaks. I've been working on that for about the last three days. I actually decided today to put the secondary hose inside there because I was just using the little float valve inside there. In two days, I only got like a meter, meter and a half worth of water inside here. Uh, so this is working a lot faster and hopefully we get a uh, resolution uh, to this problem we had with the leak inside the cistern. As well, I, I want you to see, uh, look over my shoulder here, <laughs> look at the bananas, they're coming out really nice here. And these are the Lakatan, the Lakatan bananas. Uh, nice and clean, uh, I don't know how many more weeks it takes. This is my first set of Lakatan, normally we have Sabah here. Well, that's going to be it for today. Today, we had to cut out a lot of material because we had such a long interview uh, with Tony and Karen. It was a great interview, and I hope that the, the material that we cut out, she can use on her channel. So if you have an opportunity and you want to see some of the stuff uh, that we probably missed on this channel, you might be able to see it on their channel as well. And I want to thank them. I want to thank both Tony and Karen uh, for, for Ness and for myself for coming here and visiting us. It was a really great visit. Uh, so anyway, that, that's that's it for today. Uh, the next video that you see will be the video from Worldbex, uh, the W-O-C-E-E. -E. Uh, that is done, it's edited, it's uploaded, and it will be pushed to you uh, in a reasonable amount of time. Plus after that we have an episode called What's in the Box. <laughs> if you're interested in what's in the box, you might find that's an interesting episode as well. It's kind of a surprise of something that happened around here on our way back from uh, from that trip. That tripped up to uh, Manila for the W-O-C-E-E. -E. Well, anyway, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and notified next time we upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>